I'm thinking, so obviously it's coming up to uh, dinner time, and I was thinking eventually what I would like to do is a kind of cooking stream. We're gonna do a very early beta version of that, because I was thinking for a cooking stream, what we could do is something like going through and cooking stuff from the Pikmin Piclopedia, where like you have to roast a tongue of an enemy, and I'll, be like, I'll buy a cow's tongue, I'll copy it like the recipe, go from there. Or we could go through something more mainstream, like the Breath of the Wild cooking, and we'll make one specific meal and see how it turns out. Today, we do not have the ingredients for that, so we're probably not gonna do it, but I would like to set things up and test things, because see what we do have, Yes, we have a couple of cameras to play with to get a second setup, and the room where the stream would happen is just in the other room. Um, so I might see if I can get some things wired up, test around with some settings, and see if we can at least show you the front room in a little bit. Uh, it's a bit messy. You know like how in uh, Stardew Valley, you start things up and the room's just a complete, the, the farm is a complete mess, and you have to build it up from scratch. We'll be doing that, because for the past week, we've had two birthdays, and they've each been celebrated for like three or four days, or we've had guests come over, and so we haven't cleaned while the guests are here, because we'd be busy hanging out with the guests the whole time. So it is a bit of a mess, uh, but we'll get there. Are you okay with just a toast cooking stream? Or, or mac and cheese? That's fine. What we actually have is a Cornish pasty to put in the microwave, and I think some microwavable meals. Maybe I'll slap something together. You'll also be able to see a Minecraft cake that uh, we got earlier. But if you guys are okay with a completely casual cooking part of the cooking stream, if it works, I can then keep these setups and then we'll do a proper cooking stream. A few moments later. Hi. Do you like my cake? <laughs> we have set up. Yay! Cooking is the done. Uh, so what are you eating today, Daz? Cornish pasty. It's like the cheese beef. Broken version. It goes badly. Yeah. It's like cheese. 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 Um, do we have anything like we have? Yeah, if we wanted. A gourmet banana. Banana. Do you still have your mince pies things? No, mince Ready pie. meal sandwich. That's mine. That's yours. But you can have it. I will have it. Right. Let's come to a decision. Usually I do have cooked good meals. Um, usually what we have actually, do we have any now? Oh. <laughs> we do have also this, not sponsored, but this is a Hello Fresh meal. We can actually do a proper cooking stream right after I find out where the recipe is. Let's chuck it. Where, like, where is it? I think I do. 100% want to uh, cook HelloFresh. Where's the recipe? I don't know where it is. Uh, so, we have HelloFresh, the way it works. We're not sponsored, but the way they do work is they send you several bags of food and then a recipe. Um, we've eaten that. It's not that, it's not that, it's curry, isn't it? So, this is for two, this is 25 minutes. I think I wanna do the whole thing. So I guess we don't need that, we do need that, don't need that, do need that, don't need that, don't need that, and don't need that. Sorry. Okay, let's go through this, so. The first thing it says, let's get out everything that there is to see from this. So, what we have from this box is a handful of things. I apologize, do not have an overset, a ho overhead view yet, but we'll get there. We have a few things. First things first, we have a shallot. Chicken stock paste, do I need to do that? I don't know the correct way to do these things. Curry powder mix, very nice. Basmati rice, mango chutney. Very, very nice. And green beans, uh, coriander, which I'm terrible at chopping, but we'll give it a go. And then of course, our very own chicken breast strips. Let me start with this, I probably should. Uh, we will need a plate. Oops. Yeah, that, that's, that, that was a flaw in this plan since the very beginning, wasn't that? All right. Plate for the chicken.
Um, so it said six minutes. We can do that. Six minutes. Yeah, six minutes. All right, hopefully that's okay. Right, first thing. Put the cold water for the rice. Okay, what's that? 300 milliliters into a medium saucepan with a tight fitting lid. Stir in the rice with salt, cover the lid, bring to a boil, medium high heat. Once boiling, turn the heat to the lowest thing, leave to cook for 10 minutes, then remove the pan from the heat, still covered. Leave to the side for another 10 minutes, all ready to serve. The rice will cook in its own steam. That's the most complicated way to say cook the rice. Just cook rice. The, hot, the issue with this hodgepodge uh, weekly setup we've done where we've been busy all week is I don't think I've got anything available. Measuring jug. Alright. No measuring jug. It's alright, we'll just do it by eye. So we've now covered the rice and been setting it to boil. I don't have a better view of it, I'm afraid, for now, but you'll see it when we're chopping stuff here. Right, halve, peel, and thinly slice the shallot. We can do that. We need a knife. I hope we have a knife. Yes. Aha, brandishing a knife. My technique for this kind of thing can be I sometimes chop off too much of the edges than other people would like. I apologize, I just... I can't, I'm too colorblind to tell where the root starts. All right, Jesus Christ, this is way overpowered. Yes, there, there, there are positive sides to HelloFresh. I've certainly started eating better since uh, HelloFresh. Uh, I certainly didn't eat that way any time before. I mean, for the last year, the last 10 months before HelloFresh, uh, Kez and I ate the same dinner every day, which was uh, chicken fajitas, like, which I guess is not too bad, lots of, lots of protein in it. But we would fill those fajitas with a godload amount of cheese, like a million potato salads. It was onions, mushrooms and peppers every single time. It was nice, I guess it was healthy, if you don't count the potato salad being like eight servings that, in each fajita because of potatoes. But that's what we ate. Uh, it's not the healthiest alternative. And then before that, it was just like ready meals, Cornish pasties, cold spaghetti. This is a very strange knife. I'm not used to cooking, like cutting like this, like actually slicing along like I have been. It's crazy how thin I'm able to make this. Rice is boiling, it was bubbling again. What are you doing? Hmm? Not much. You're heated, heating. You're making your way, that's fine. Um, can I cut this? It's a very wide piece. <laughs> no, I can just make it scatter into different directions. All right. We're gonna trim those damn green beans. This is my least favorite part, or one of my least favorite parts. This cooking's got a lot of my least favorite parts of cooking in it. I hate trimming green beans, because I can't do it even remotely cleanly, well, correctly, or fast. It's faster with this knife, I'll admit, but like generally, I just suck at this bit, but whatever. Also, I just realized this meal's supposed to be 25 minutes to do. The rice takes 10 minutes. I'm pretty sure it's like 10 minutes to boil, 10 minutes to simmer, 10 minutes to leave to the side. So maybe it wasn't 10 minutes to boil. It's taking 10 minutes at the moment. I've got it on a lower heat than yours, I guess, don't I? There you go, oh, it's boiling now. Then chop into thirds. All of these? Ah. Oh. Here, I'm gonna uh, chop into halves. They're already kinda, ah, we'll see. Damn it. That didn't even, that didn't even slam. How do you do this quickly, you know? Uh, 
Uh, peel and grate the garlic, or use a garlic press. Where is our garlic press? It's in the drain, it's in the sink. Man, I can't do it with this massive knife without chopping off loads of garlic. And even then, it's still not getting the edges properly. This ain't going too great, this, this garlic press. Uh, I could chop it into little pieces. Let's try the big way, wide way first. Yeah, it didn't really do much, did it? All right, I will just... Sorted. And then we'll add all the things in, put a lid over it, cover the pan with a lid or some foil. I gotta walk! And add the shallots now. You gonna beep at me? You are, you're gonna beep in seven seconds. Ooh, let's not lose that guy in the middle of the oven. There you go, you can see it slightly, wow. Shallots and chicken combined. Uh, for one minute. Hello. Welcome. The rice has become solid. <laughs> um, add some butter in it. Ooh, that's good. Yeah, fluff it up. Um, I'm gonna add the other things to this now. Oh, oh. Do you want to, uh, how much curry powder do you want in this? It's a strong um, curry powder. Half? Half? All right. Half okay. I might add half of that. Well, if you want extra, I can just have my... That might be a bit too much. And the magic chutney. Oh, that's right, um, that's half of it. That's the powder and the mango chutney. And the garlic for one minute. Okay, fine. Pour in the water, 150 milliliters, and stir in the chicken stock paste. Do we have a measuring jug? Um, how much do you need? 150 mils. 150? That is about... Oh, they are... Yeah, I don't know what they are. Wait, just write this set? Yes, don't worry, it's off the whole. Alright. Pour in the water, add st uh, chicken stock paste, and add the beans. Bring to the boil. Ooh, I can have Naomi have you here. Can I get you to do me a favour in a minute? Huh? Could you chop the coriander for me in a minute? Sure. Don't look at the way I... Chop this, guys. It's just a, a technique I've learned to use. I scrunch it up all together, mm -hmm. so then it makes it more satisfying it to cut. Oh, just so it's more satisfying. Oh, is that also, it? it makes it easier to actually do it. Okay. Ah. Um, yeah, we got a bit of waiting time now. We got to wait for our curry to boil. It is now boiling. Never mind. <laughs> and then nice. reduce the heat to medium. Cover the pan with a lid. Simmer for five to seven minutes. We have an extra ingredient, ladies and gentlemen. You just my sound. Don't look at me like Just do what you're doing. You burn yourself every meal, I swear. I'm interested in this anyway. Sour cream. Ooh, sour cream. So uh, that'll go in, make it look a lot more appetizing to me. Yes, once the beans are tender, which they will be in another 20 seconds, we add in the sour cream, bring to the boil, then remove the heat. Add salt and pepper, put it all together. All right. All right. La -da 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 -da. Look at that mixture. Then we grab half the coriander. Stir it in. Lovely. 
Okay. Serving time. Fluffing up the rice with a fork. <laughs> Carrie's already had dinner, but now she gets a second. Ready meal and a cooked meal. But hey, this is super relieving because as a streamer, I was always having ready meals and like deliveries for dinner on a stream day. And considering I've been trying to stream three times a week, it's a lot of effort and a lot of bad, health, unhealthy foods. So it's nice now that I, because I have access to cooked meals, I just couldn't make content out of it. And I, you know, I can't disappear for two hours. Uh, so now, I imagine this will become a regular mainstay thing we'll do, especially for 12 hour streams, if it doesn't take 11 and a half hours to beat a game. It's uh, a very interestingly coloured curry. It just has curry powder in it, but yeah. It's veg and rice curry powder. That wasn't bias, I just had more in one hand than the other. And that is our final concoction. Bit splattered, I'm not the best at represent uh, presentation. But here is our coronation chicken curry. That's our, you see that all right? Just about. Ugh. I'll try not to spill it everywhere. There you go. Thank you for joining me for this cooking segment. Thank you everyone, if you watched this video, that's our wonderful end result, some wonderful Coronation Chicken Curry. Hopefully it doesn't kill us with some defrosted chicken. We'll find out. If I die midway through, at least we got it on film. <laughs>